The Girl with the Curls, Gladys Smith, America's Sweetheart. Each of these names have one thing in common. They each describe one of the most successful silent film actresses in North America, Mary Pickford. The Bell Tiff Lightbox is currently hosting a free exhibit in honor of Mary Pickford, one of the highest paid film stars of the early 1900s. The exhibit consists of 300 items, including movie posters, postcards, Pickford's personal clothing, and more. At the peak of her career, Pickford was a staple to American film and pop culture. In 1919, she co-founded United Artists, a studio built to compete with monopolizing film production and distribution companies. One of the three other co-founders was none other than her second husband, Douglas Fairbanks. Pickford and Fairbanks were known as the It Couple, as celebrities and political dignitaries from around the world would dine with them at their home, the Pickfair Estate, located in Beverly Hills. Even though Pickford made a resounding name for herself in the United States, exhibit curator Sylvia Frank says that few are aware of her humble beginnings here in Toronto. A lot of people don't know that this very famous uh, silent star, that she in fact was from Toronto, is a Canadian and always kept her Canadian roots. Pickford's passion for acting was first sparked at the age of six when she appeared in a production of The Silver King, performed at Toronto's Princess Theatre. Pickford and her family decided to pursue their acting careers by joining a traveling theater troupe, which led them to the United States and Pickford to her first silver screen appearance working for Biograph in 1909. In 1999, Pickford received a posthumous star on Canada's Walk of Fame, joining other deceased Canadian celebrities like John Candy and Glenn Gould. This statue of Mary Pickford marks the birthplace of the Hollywood starlet. Her home here in Toronto held such fond memories for the actress that when her house was demolished in 1943, she requested that some of its bricks be sent to her new estate in California. Elena Lafleur, State News.